I do believe so. Hi, Craig. Does Randy has a sweet tooth? Yes, he does. And as you guys know, yeah, this time of year, kids are so excited about candy and sweets, but dentists, they are warning about the consequences of too much sugar and perhaps poor oral hygiene as well. So joining us right now is Dr. Maria Ryan of Colgate Palmolive Company. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, Good Amber. Morning. I heard you talking about a sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my co-host certainly has a sweet tooth. I do too. I know a lot of kiddos out there do as well, but as a mama of two, I'm still trying to limit that, even though this is like one day a year, but you don't want them to raid that candy jar and have too, too much, right? This does come with a bit of a warning. Yes, we, we have to decrease the amount of sugar especially during this time of the year. But that makes it even more important than ever that you use good oral hygiene. You brush twice a day for at least two minutes, you know, brush in the morning before you go to bed. Yeah. And especially if you're eating a lot of candy, if you eat that candy, it really does help. And starting early really does make a difference for kids, really showing them the importance of good oral health because right. poor oral health affects their development. Yep. Well, can we talk about that more specifically? Because I find this to be so interesting. You say that there is a connection to overall physical health, but also mental health as well. What exactly does that mean? Well, if we talk about the kids first, you know, cavities can impact a child's physical and mental health, their self esteem and their overall well being. And in a global study that we conducted, we found that kids feel worried and embarrassed and sad and anxious when they have poor oral health. Yeah. And the same study found in the U.S., kids miss up to three days of school a year and avoid extracurricular activities, which really hinder their education and social development. Mm -hmm. So put simply, a healthy mouth is essential for a child's well-being. Absolutely. In adults, on the other side, sure. where periodontal disease is a problem, if it's not treated, we know that there are connections between poor oral health and increased risk for heart disease, mm -hmm. for stroke, for diabetes, for adverse pregnancy outcomes and respiratory diseases. Well, isn't that just it? I don't think I really realize the connection between poor oral health and other things that it can lead to. Like, you know, things in your mouth can lead to problems in other parts of your body pretty quickly, too. Absolutely. Absolutely, Amber. That is true. So right. taking care of your entire body starts with taking care of your mouth. Yeah, I think so too. And I know, especially at young ages, I was always surprised when I had a little one and I thought, oh, I'm taking her in enough time. And it was actually, no, 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 you, you could have brought her in even earlier. And I really didn't think about that, but it starts at a very young age. Yes, the earlier you start, the more it makes a difference. Um, and it's just, you know, we know that poor oral health can affect a child's grades, their ability yeah. to learn, and their social and emotional development. I think so too. Okay, doctor, I'd like to wrap this up with you, but any last tips for us or anything else that we can do right now for our kids, for ourselves, just to put us on the right path? Well, you know, we, we say at Colgate, it's important to know your OQ, like your IQ and your EQ. So use those preventive strategies, brushing sure. twice a day, using a fluoride containing toothpaste, using our connected technologies, which make it fun and our great tasting toothpaste <laughs> and seek oral care. You know, find out, assess your oral health status, go to the dentist, see the hygienist. Sure. There you go. Make it fun. I like those cute little toothbrushes. Doctor, thank you so much for your time and of course, helping us protect ourselves and our kiddos as well. Appreciate it. Thanks, Amber. Thanks for having me on your show. Yep, you bet. Until next time. Okay, you guys, coming up next, of course, we have more music from Forgotten Tribe. I think Randy, you guys, Randy's ready to dance yet again. Let's Back go. with more right after this. Yeah. <laughs>